everyone it's Jamie welcome back so today's video is going to be a DIY with the Dollar Tree uh, watering cans um, I'm going to do this to make it look sort of like a galvanized finish and um, if you get the other colors because these do come in different colors and I just got the gray one if you get the gray one, you won't have to worry about giving it a base color of gray since it's already gray. But if you happen to get the ones that are different colors, um, you're probably going to want to paint that um, as a, a gray base first. So, but since mine is already gray, I can buy I can just bypass that step and move on to the rest of the painting. So um, all I'm going to be doing is just be adding uh, different colors of paint on here, just dabbing them on with um, one of these sort of like chip brushes that I got from the Dollar Tree. So um, I'll be using that and just dry brushing uh, paint on. And I'm also going to be using some of the Waverly Chalk White paint. I'll be using some of the Apple Barrel uh, paint in black. Um, I'm also probably going to be using some of this Waverly, um, it's chalk paint, and this one is in the color Steel. And then I may go ahead also to give it sort of a rusty look in places. Um, I'm, I may try to use some of this Apple Barrel Barn Red paint. I'm not really sure if I'm going to use this yet, so just make sure you stay tuned. And I also will be leaving a materials list down in the description box so that you know everything that I used. Um, so yeah, this should be fairly simple and easy and um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so for my first step I'm just going to be adding um, a layer of the white Waverly chalk paint and you don't want to get a whole lot of paint on your brush, just a little bit. And I'm also just going to be kind of tapping some of that excess paint off because I don't want to get a whole lot on there. Um, anyway, then you're just going to go in and you're just going to start dabbing all over. And you're just going to dab um, your whole can and you can also do like some swirly marks. Just, you know, whatever you want. Just all over the can. So I'm going to be doing this with the white first, and um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and continue doing this all over, and then as soon as I'm done with that, I will come back and I will show you what the next step is. Okay, so now that I have the first layer of the white chalk paint just kind of stamped all over, I did kind of go um, on the inside just a little bit, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Um, but yeah, so I just did this all over, even on the handle. And then next I'm going to go ahead and go in with some of the black apple barrel paint. And, um, I am doing this just with a, a dry brush. So I'm not going to wash out the white paint that's already on here. I'm just going to go ahead and continue, um, dipping into the black. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I do that and it's just the same way as you did the white chalk paint where you're just kind of dipping your brush um, into the black paint and uh, you want to dab off as much of that paint as you can get but still leaving some on your brush but you don't want to have a big old blotchy spot um, of black paint so I'm just kind of dabbing that off a little bit and then I'm just going to go back in and do the same thing that I did with the white just dabbing all over the watering can. So this is what it looks like with the black paint just kind of dabbed all over and so next I am going to add some of this um, Waverly chalk paint and this is in the color steel. So I'm just going to be doing the same exact te technique where I just dab, dry brush uh, the paint on to the watering can. And I'm still using the same brush. If I can get the paint out. Okay. 
So all I'm doing is just the same thing. I'm just taking the gray paint and I'm just dabbing my brush in there, trying to get off as much of that as I can. Okay, I may have to get me a napkin or something here. Okay, anyway, so now I'm just going to go ahead and go back over it, doing the same thing, just tapping all over. Okay, so now that I've got the gray paint kind of dabbed on there, I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to go back over it a little bit with some more of the black and the uh, white, just dabbing that kind of all over just till I get what I want. Um, so I am going to go ahead and continue to do that um, until I get what I think I'm going to like and what looks the most galvanized to me. So um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and keep adding on uh, my paint, just dabbing it on. And then as soon as I get this to where I want it, I will come back and show you guys. I think I've come to a pretty good stopping point and um, I think this is probably as galvanized as I'm gonna be able to get it to look. Um, it would be really cool if I had some like metallic uh, paint, some gray paint or something that was metallic, but I don't. So, um, Anyway, I think I'm going to stop right there as far as the painting goes. Now, I did not use any of the um, uh, Barn Red from Apple Barrel. I didn't use any of this because uh, when I started to use it, it looks too pink. And it's just not really um, the rusty color that I was wanting. And I don't have um, any other paints. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and leave this the way it is. I think it looks really cute. It turned out really cute. Um, what I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to be getting some floral foam from the Dollar Tree and adding that in here. And then I'm going to be um, adding some of the faux flowers uh, that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using some of this um, floral foam from the Dollar Tree. And I'm not sure if these two little round uh, pieces are going to be enough. Um, I may have to get some more, which I do have some more little uh, pieces of foam, square pieces of foam. But um, I'm going to go ahead and see if these will work. So all I'm going to do is... Now, if you are um, wanting to make yours permanent, go ahead and hot glue your foam down to your can. Um, if you're going to leave it inside your house, you won't need to weight it down. But if you're going to have this outside, I would recommend weighting it down. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just take this. And this probably will fit in this can. I probably shouldn't have to. I say that, but watch. <laughs> Um, have to trim it down too much, so let me go ahead and just kind of just press that in there. I don't want to press too hard because that foam is very weird. It mushes really easy because I think this is the wet, the wet kind. So, um, so anyway, that just sat down right in there and. I think that's probably going to be all right. Um, I think, though, what I may do is go ahead and hot glue this piece onto the one inside there so that it's just one uh, big piece. I went ahead and glued, hot glued the uh, little piece of green foam to the other piece of green foam that's in there. And now I'm going to move on and start adding uh, some of my flowers. And I'm just going to be using a bunch of different types of flowers. And all of these I did purchase from the Dollar Tree. Um, what I've done is I went ahead and went in and just cut all of them off of their stems. And um, I'm just going to start trying to arrange these. And um, in no particular fashion really. I would like to have uh, some of these um, longer types of flowers which these are the wildflowers from the Dollar Tree and then 
these are I can't remember what these are called but these um they're just a little bit longer and I think that I can maybe get these to where they kind of bend uh, just to bend the wire to where they kind of cascade over the flower pot so um, anyway I'm gonna go ahead and get started and see how I can get this to look see how it turns out now as I'm adding my flowers I am not going to be hot gluing them in uh, just because I may end up changing my flowers out later at a later time but for now I'm just going to go ahead and stick them down into the foam now if I feel like my flowers aren't going to be um, tall enough I may add another piece of foam just to give it more height but for right now I'm just going to go ahead and start adding my flowers And I'll probably speed this up, this portion up, so that you guys don't have to sit around and watch <laughs> all, me do this. Because this is going to be probably pretty monotonous. And it may take forever. Okay guys, so this is the end of this little tutorial here. Make sure that you stay tuned till the end so that you can see pictures of what this looks like. I'm going to try and move my camera back so that you guys can kind of get a better view of this. But I think this turned out really, really cute. So I know at, right now it's kind of hard to see it, but I will post pictures so that you can see what this looks like. So, yeah. Anyway, I think that this turned out super duper cute and it's really pretty and it makes me happy to see all the yellow flowers in there. So, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already because I would love to have you. Hope that you all are having a wonderful day. I wanted to thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you all later. Bye!